Hello, I'm going to show you how to put your baby in a front carry in the Zensling and the Zebulo, which are pretty much the same, but the shoulders differ. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to adjust the size of the waist belt here. So as you can see, you can spread it, spread the fabric all over the waist belt, but you want to adjust it so that it fits your baby from knee to knee. So I'm going for small babies, I'm going to bring all the fabric in. As your baby gets bigger, you just make it very gradually wider and wider. This is what's great about the Mamarago Zinslings and Zabulo is that it's adaptable centimeter by centimeter. So you don't have just settings, you just make it as wide as you need. Okay, so we're going to start small because I've got a small baby here. And then I'm going to adjust the panel across. So you've got these two buckles here this will make the panel longer or shorter as you pull so for small babies i'm just going to start at the narrowest and then the bottom one helps bring the legs up you can readjust all that once you've got your baby in it already so it doesn't really matter uh, main differences between the zensling and the zebulo the zensling is made from a strong stretchy fabric and you can spread the fabric on your shoulder to give you a bit more support and to evenly distribute the weight. Difference with the Zebulo, different type of fabrics so are very strong cotton, so maybe not as much movement. And you don't have spreadable shoulders, but they are padded. Okay, so we're going to put it on. We're going to bring the waist belt on our waist. So with waist belt, it's very important to put it on your waist and not on your hips. That will give you a lot more support around your back. You're going to go and you're going to clip. Make sure you can hear the clicks, very important. And then we're going to re tighten. Make sure your waist belt is straight and parallel to the floor. You don't want it to be going at an angle because that can give you. A little bit of lower back pain. Make sure it is tight but not too tight that you can't breathe. So <laughs> just just about. And then there are lots of different techniques. So I'm going to show you first the technique where you clip the straps around your baby and the second technique where you can just slide your baby in with everything clipped in. Alright so we're gonna bring baby in. So bring baby on your front and then you're gonna sit baby on your chest make sure your baby's head is close enough to kiss so you can see your baby's airways at all time for small babies bring hands towards the face as well and make sure the bum is lower down your knees but this you can recorrect once your baby's in the sling i'm going to bring the panel across the back this and support your baby the whole time you're gonna grab the strap and you're going to flip it over your shoulder. Now make sure there's nobody behind you because this in somebody's eye is not very nice. So <laughs> you're going to flip it over the shoulder. Switch hands. I'm going to support baby with this hand. I'm going to bring my hand straight across my back. Grab my strap, pull down to tighten and then bring it across. And then I'm going to clip and I'm going to re-tighten a bit. If you find pulling the strap back difficult, what you can do is because this thing has got dual adjust, leave the front part of the strap loose and then all you need to do is just pull forward. So you choose whether you pull back or forward. And I'm gonna do the second one, so keep holding baby, flip over, switch hands, and my hand's gonna go across my back, I pull down, and then bring my clip around and I'm going to either pull back or if I've set it the front part loose I'm just going to have to pull forward like this. Make sure your sling is nice and tight it's very important that baby is well supported so that we prevent any risk of suffocation or fall. Once your baby's in it just make sure you've pulled evenly so one way to do that is you can lift one strap and then bring the slack forward like this. And also if you 
our mother bring you strap away from your breast because it can be a bit uncomfortable and pull back and I'm going to do the same here I'm going to pull and then bring it forward like this and pull back make sure your cross is not directly in your neck so just wiggle it around like this so it's sit roughly sitting in the middle of, of your back I'm going to check my baby's well seated so the seat is good my baby's supported knee to knee if the seat is gone too wide you can just bring it back inside make sure the bum is lower than the knee and then the panel arrives just right under your baby's earlobe so if it's too high you can just pull down and then these straps at the, f the bottom you can pull them up that helps making the panel shorter but also bringing the knees up this is a super handy hood you can use it if it's like very windy or raining outside I find that I prefer using them half like this so that the baby's face isn't covered especially when they're very small and then you've got a little elastic band inside you can just bring it through to tighten like that what's also really handy is that you can just use it as a headrest so you can roll it inside and give your baby a bit more padding to help support the head like this and you can spread the fabric on your shoulders to give you some extra support if you don't like the clipping around it's a bit stressful I'm going to show you how to put your baby straight in this so we're going to take baby out so I'm going to loosen we're just lifting like this non clipping just lifting I'm going to take my baby out so you can either go like this grab your baby lift out or support you get one arm out and then lift your baby out okay so if the clipping isn't for you you can just pre-clip everything just hold your cross like this in front of you arm through like this position your cross on your back and then leave the front adjustment of the strap loose and then we're just gonna side baby in so you bring baby on your shoulder quite high up in like in a burping position support baby with your arm you're gonna bring your hand under the buckle grab the leg slide through do the same here just gonna grab the leg and slide it through and then keep supporting bring the panel across the back pull my straps back a bit and then I'm just gonna pull forward to retighten until my baby feels nice and tight one way to know if your sling is nice and tight is to hold your baby's head, you lean forward. If your baby's body is coming away from yours, probably not tight enough, so retighten a bit more. Otherwise, if it feels nice and snug against you, then you're good to go. Taking your baby out, same system, but all you can also do is just unclip. So always to pull baby, unclip one side only. Take it off, or you can just take both out. Let's check it out. There you go. Thank you for watching.